Hi, and welcome to the project for September, the Surger Club project for September. So this month we're gonna do bowl cozies, or in this particular instance, a pint cozy. I kind of came up with this idea the bowl cozy has been around for a while, but when I'm eating my ice cream out of the container, I always have to grab a kitchen towel to hold the pint so that my hand doesn't freeze. So I thought, you know what? A cozy would be kind of nice for that. So there you go. Bowl cozies are usually done with a traditional, just regular straight stitch sewing machine, but I thought there had to be an easier way to do that with a searcher. So I've updated the construction method. There are uh, six different sizes from little tiny, which is this little guy. I size these by basically whatever the base is here. So this is a three inch which is perfect for a little ramekin size for like, like if you're doing a French dip for au jus or a little side gravy. While you may not necessarily need to keep this hot, it does make a cute little container to put um, just to dress up your table. I'll kind of show this from the side. So that you can get an idea. It's quilted here using the flat lock stitch and then the same stitch we use for the seam. So a lot of times these are really bulky at the where the dart is basically because you've got a lot of batting in there. The way that I set this up, there's not a lot of extra bulk. So they're, they kind of just sit nice and they're reversible. You can do them going in either direction, which is kind of nice. All right. So for this, so this is kind of handy, like I said, for like au jus or gravy or something. And since this is all cotton and just regular batting, easily wash those. These, you could even use these as little pot holders, I guess, if you wanted. Okay, so that's the smallest size. And then the next size is this. So this is set up for basically a five inch bowl. And this, just to give you an idea, this is a four cup container and it fits in there just perfectly. This one is the 11 inch size and this is a five cup container. This is just a glad container, which is perfect for that. I put a lot of leftovers in these, so this does come in quite handy. Then the bigger sizes, so the 13 inch size is this. And really, I kind of did these more for casseroles and not necessarily to put into the microwave at all, but really just as a nice kind of a dressing for your casserole to put on your table. Plus, it does make it easy to carry. You've got the little handle guys here. And then the largest size, this is a, I guess I should say, this is a one and a half quart casserole and this is a two and a half quart casserole and this is the largest size so this is the 15 inch size basically that's it there's the six sizes I'll just kind of stack them all up here so that you can see and then my favorite the ice cream pint so here's an added little bonus that I actually didn't even think about until later is you could easily use these to help store your casserole dishes. Just fit one inside of the other. While these nest together, you can hear they're kind of clanking around. So if you just put your bowl cozy in there, it kind of just helps that so you won't scratch the inside one. So added little bonus. Here are all the sizes all nicely stacked up together. You can see they nest. They'd make a great little gift. And then the pint, which also would nest in there as well. So let's get started and I'll walk you through the process.